Hello, welcome to another Trinity Teaching. This is Lesson 3.4.3. Um, I know it's getting confusing, but I'm sorry. But anyway, um, this is another divination video. This one is on dominoes, um, the divination with dominoes. There is no special mancy term for it. It's just plot dominoes. Um, so anyway, um, simple enough. In this one, I actually have a demonstrational tool. Then again, everyone should know what dominoes look like. Um, ooh, I dropped the domino. Anyway, the, ter the divination with dominoes is simple. Also, I might add um, the correspondence answering um, what they all mean in that. I'll be placing a link to them in the description. I have scan of scanned pages. What it will take you to my like page, to an album where they are. If you know how to get to my like page and say the link's not working, simple. Go to Facebook. Um, Arc's YouTube channel, A dot A period R period C YouTube channel. Um, anyway, um, it's simple enough. It's basically those cube. Um, it has more, but those basically it's like uh, well, like pulling tar um, tarot. Um, three um, three dominoes for a person. Say you want to do a quick reading. Um, pull th all dominoes are face down, pull three at random, um, one for past, one for present, one for future, and then look up the corresponding meaning on the list which I will be providing in the description to which the link goes to. Anywho, um, another thing. Um, it talks about how um, gypsies did not did believe that touching the dominoes um, on, I think, Mondays and Fridays was considered bad luck. I mean, it's up to you if you go by that one, but um, I'm not sure exactly if those like higher forms of dominoes. I mean, you could probably make your own spreads with the dominoes. Um, anybody, everybody does. Um, dominoes technically were based on the faces of dice, so in a way they kind of correspond to that. Um, also, dominoes are a way of doing um, a, bleh, a divination for three people, um, for two people at once. Simply for because a lot of the the things involve uh, marriage or pairing, and a lot of them are also kind of negative. I'm not sure why, but um, there are, as you know, 28 dominoes in a set. Um, you can, one plain set is enough, really, to do it. Um, you don't need another set of dominoes to do a reading. You can, however, if you want to, add, like, have more than one set. At most, I'd say maybe two sets, maybe three. You really don't need a whole bunch because it's not like you're going to use every single domino in one reading. You can do spreads, like a layout, if you wish. But that's only for, like, if you're um, trying to do, like, I don't know, say, a question or something of that nature. Um... The description I t I'm going to be show as I show you in the um, in the, the as the link will take you to. It talks about just the meanings. For example, I actually have um, oof right here are them printed out. Um, I have them printed out because you never know when you might need to see them. Um, and as I said, it is basically um, just talking. About like here, I will read a bit of it a bit. Many gypsies have a superstition that they should not touch the uh, dotted ivories, as they are called the um, dominoes, on a Monday or Friday. That's it. Also, they believe that dominoes should not be consulted for more than one in more than one moon span, basically once a month. They do, they do however, believe that the tiles are very pro prophetic. In some ways, they are read in a similar way to dice. Only thing that is unique about dominoes is that they can be used to tell the fortune of more than one person at a time, as I said. Um, <clears throat> where was I? Oh, yes. Um, if you want to, on Cubomancy, there is a reading. There is a. One of the readings is to be done with three dice. It goes up to 18. Well, if you only cut that down, it's go up to take the meanings for the numbers 1 through 6. You can use those. For when you use these dice for people, say you take I'm going to take one domino for somebody, 
uh, for two people, place it down. Um, and that number correspondent with that one would make more, you could do it with, but that's up to you. Um, let's see. Um, generally speaking, all sixes are connected with good luck. Fives generally refer to jobs and careers. Fours deal with financial matters. Threes are connected to love. Twos refer to family and close friends. Ones indicate journeys to be taken. All blanks refer directly to the queer, the, the person which... Yeah. Querent, queerer, um, is something you will be probably see a lot in divination, usually referring to the person you are reading for. Um, anyway, um, that's all I really got on domino divination. There was no fancy word, as I said. There was not much to it. Um, domino sets are easy to find. The dice one is also easy to find. Um, it's up, so it's up to you which one you choose. There's many different forms of divination. As I said um, before, you don't have to choose one type. You can do any type of divination you want, as many ones you want. Believe me, I do up to, let's see. As of this moment, I'd say I, ha I can do up to six main ones. Um, beyond that, some I can't tinker in, but I've yet to completely master. Anyway, so until next time, thank you very much. Uh, keep watching, learning, reading, and until next time, bye-bye.